what is called bringing hope to the community. Uh, this is a picture of the group of kids I worked with. That's another one. Um, I went to Wheatland Music Organization and put out a hoop workshop for my project. Um, what is hoop dance anyways? A lot of people really have no clue what it is. They think like, like, am I in your way? Nope. No? Okay. Um, a lot of people think that like hoop dance is just like using a little hoop on your waist, but it's a lot more than that. Um, and the types of hoop dance are really as varied as the people who are dancing. It, there's tons of variations. You can use huge hoops. The ones are as tall as you, for so. Um, you can use LED hoops with the lights on the inside. Uh, you can use small hoops on your hands and everything. You can use a lot of hoops at once. You can use fire hoops. Um, so that really shows just like that there isn't one specific definition. There's it varies a lot. Um, how many results are cooking? Why do people bother to do it? You know? um, it's a really great artistic expression. You can express your feelings just like any other dance. It's a conversation starter. I wouldn't have met like half the people I've met if I hadn't hula hooped. I've formed some great friendships and just met people a lot because people are interested in hula hooping. You know? They want to know what you're doing and they want to talk to you about it. It's a confidence booster. You learn how to perform in front of people because you always are. People are always watching you. And you learn to be proud of yourself for what you're doing. Um, it causes community growth because you want to share what you're doing. Because it's very interesting and fun and you just want to share it. So you form a community of people who are all interested in what you're doing. Um, it brings a lot of laughter. You really can't like not have a smile when you're hula hooping. It's pretty much impossible. And um, you get a more fit body when hula hooping. You don't really realize it when you're doing it, but later on it shows. Almost everybody who starts hula hooping comments on it. And you get increased energy like you would from any other exercise. Um, so the goals of my project were to inspire others by either performing or teaching, just to inspire them and show them something new. Um, is to build community through hoop dance and to spread my knowledge of hoop dance, which could be how to make hoops or how to hula hoop, anything like that. Um, some common ways to spread hooping. Uh, there's hoop sharing, just giving hoops to others, you know, then they can actually hula hoop. And, uh, online classes and tutorials, which is how I learned how to hoop dance. There's tons of videos and everything. And, a lot of people learn how to hoop that way because they don't oftentimes have somebody in their city who already hoop dances. Um, you can do workshops where you're actually learning directly from a teacher with a bunch of other people there. And you can hoop in the community, like at parks or events. Um, it's a common way to learn because there's lots of people there, so you can teach them. Um, steps to create my project. I contacted Jennifer Fields of the Mount Pleasant Discovery Museum because I've worked with them before and I knew they'd been interested in doing some dance with them. So I contacted her and she actually connected me with Wheatland Music Organization and their children's program called Wheat Scouts. Um, then we started planning dates for the event that I was going to do. And we had to decide upon the specifics like the time, amount of children, ages, things like that. Um, and we had to get everything to make the movie. I had to make the base of the hoop so we could then tape it with the children. So I had to go around and get all the supplies and then actually make the hoops. And then I went to Wheat Scouts, put the workshop on, and then we documented the workshop. So what I did was I made 20 hoops to tape with the children at Wheatland. There should be a video there. I don't know where that is. But it was a video of me going to Menards and I got all the things I needed to get to make the hoops. And then I cut the tubing down, which is the base of the hoop, and I connected it with a connector that you buy for the tubing. And I did that 20 times over, which didn't actually take that long. Uh, then I led a Wheat Scouts workshop. And here's a video of that. Yeah. 
when they read the what is it called? The pamphlet? The what? Program. Program. Yeah. They were like, oh, a hoop dance? I just thought there was gonna be some girl who would be on stage. You really surprised me with what you can do with the hula hoop. And that's really what I want people to know about hoop dance. So it's a lot more than just hula hooping. Um, so uh, did my project succeed? Some things I achieved that I wanted to were I made 20 hoops for Wheatland, and six of those got donated to Wheatland, and the rest went home with kids, which is great. Uh, I taught interested individuals how to hula hoop, which is a big goal of mine. And I got a job teaching a workshop at Wheatland uh, later in the spring, which means I'm going to be able to teach a lot more people in the future, which is fantastic. And I performed on stage. Uh, all this adds up to, yeah, it was a really big success in the <laughs> with my project. So, thank you. And then questions.